left, Kenny Caster on the right. These two friends have met here uh, vanquishing 206, 214 other players. There were 216 people here today. The final two sit before you, ready to battle. We have Merfolk on the left, Rug Delver on the right. Who will win? Who can tell? Now, you can let us know who you think is likely to win this one. Tweet at SCG Live. Who do you think is going to win? Kenny Castor with Rug Delver? Or do you think it's going to be Joshua Cho with Merfolk? I, you know, I do think Josh has an uh, advantage here. Lots Why? of lords. Mm. I like all the island walking. There's a lot, lot, lot of island walking now. Eight. Eight uh, cards. Josh already defeated a Rug Delver deck on his way to this match, right? Yeah, absolutely. 2-0, in fact. Yeah. A throttling. And he's also, he is not messing around with his sideboard either. He's got four submerges. And he's got those dismembers in the main deck. Yeah. Prepped for an opponent like Kenny Caster. Edgar Magales. Josh Cho, he says. Merfolk Pride. Represent. Woo -woo. Kenny Caster on the right, hoping that the popular opinion of uh, people like Edgar and I is incorrect here today. Now, even we if... Have, we have a question from Strongstad. Uh, do you... It, it, do, you're asking if if you know what you're talking about regarding Reanimator? Uh, I'm not sure that I'm in a position to, to know for sure if you know what you're talking about, but we do know for sure that Knight of the Reliquary, Caracas, Ooze, and Thali are all very reasonable cards, but of course so are Brainstorm and Ponder and Thoughtseize. Do know historically, though, from looking at all the results, that uh, Reanimator has performed very well against most breeds of Maverick. And we have another uh, tweet from that BMK Ibler, um, who's uh, saying some stuff as well. BMK says uh, Thalia is downright insane against all of these quote-unquote unfair decks. Yes, yes, of course, green-white is the best in all formats, obviously. <laughs> Josh Cho giving us the uh, double peace signs. Thank you from to BMK Ibler. Well, we Kibler, have a... let's be serious. You and I both know Grixis is the only real deck. <laughs> and uh, a lot of show love today on the Twitterverse. It is a really good matchup for Merfolk, <laughs> so there's that. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here on camera, but we got some crazy faces, some laughter. <laughs> Is Cho drunk? <laughs> no. Or punch drunk? He's punch drunk from 26 hours of magic over these last couple of days. I know I feel a little bit punch drunk. I'm not as punch drunk as I was in Detroit when it just seemed like all that could be done is laughter. But that was, uh, that was a crazy little finals. It's a good thing we have the clock stopped at one second. Well, the match... Or just shuffling may never end. <laughs> Mark Sun uh, wants to bring in some wisdom. Mark Sun, a uh, known, well-known legacy player. The peace signs were V for victory signs. And Mark says some weird Asian thing. Mark, also uh, Asian, can say that. Anybody Thank can you. say it. Anyone can say it. That's true. It's just accurate when you're Asian, right? Yeah. And Mark Sun says, rooting for Cho. All right. Um, we're looking for somebody at home who thinks that, rug De that Kenny Caster and his Rug Delver deck are favored. If we can get... Uh, we just can... one voice. for. If only one of you we... claps your hands. Wait a second. Turn those aren't fairies. Those are insects. Never mind. <laughs> and that just prompts Eric Klug to say, go Cho. <laughs> Klug alters. Well, we are on a slight delay. Aether Vile. So things have gone from bad to worse for Kenny Caster. If this resolves, what do you think the chances are that this resolves? Uh, well, we'll see what a brainstorm says. Or a thought scour. <laughs> If 
for those of you who are just joining us, this is the beginning of the final match of the weekend here in the very first New York wow. State event. Very powerful days. For Star City da Games. The days on the Spell Pierce to fight over the Ether Vial. Oh, double wow. days! Another day. It's a huge fight. So everybody puts the game all of their is cards reset. In We're starting over. <laughs> okay, turn one, kind of. But uh, Kenny, it, it, from the looks of it, Kenny's hand is what? Spell Pierce, blue card, force of will land? Perhaps. Kenny is almost out of everything. Ooh, a goose is on top. Yeah. Ooh, that's so good. So we're going to see a, uh, a nimble mongoose from Kenny Castor? We are. And Strong Sad says uh, he doesn't think Kenny is favored, but it ain't so bad. Uh, we think that it is totally lopsided 55-45. <laughs> and we see Silver Girl add up revealing a master. If there's one thing I've learned, it's that everything that is is even more so. Kenny Caster, Force of Will, tossing Force of Will. We're going to have to be a little bit cautious. There's even fewer people in this hall. So even though it would be a pretty huge toss to be able to, you know, throw a stone at those guys over there, they can still potentially hear us. Nimble Mongoose on the table. Curse Catcher showing down Nimble Mongoose. Cho says, I'm betting you're not going to block. And if you do, that's fine. Kenny Caster says, good call. Um, <laughs> Kirk, who we talked to earlier, says he thinks Caster is favored, assuming he's splashing white for Wild Nakata, Lightning Helix, and Path to Exile. Which he is <laughs> not. <laughs> You know, I have not seen a zoo player in a long time. I saw Pet Cox the other day. Well, I mean, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I have not seen a zoo deck played in a long time. Yeah, I mean, uh, good answer though. Good answer, Patrick. Josh Boos still rooting for High Tide. Well, that ship has sailed today, my friend. I predict High Tide will eventually win. <laughs> Eventually. Josh Cho has a curse catcher, a mutavault, an island. Not a lot of cards in hand versus Kenny Caster with a nimble mongoose, tropical island, scalding tarn, and also not a lot of cards in hand. Both players in a flurry of spells on turn one have left themselves left themselves depleted of resources. Wasteland on Mutavault. These are definitely two decks that are designed to just bash, you know, like just have each other's cards go one for one and leave both players starved of resources and count on the fact that both decks are so low to the ground. Master. What's interesting is that the Murpho deck is actually a little bit bigger. It can be the control deck at times just as, you know, on account of having so many more expensive and powerful spells. And uh, Will Blanton hopes that the rug deck wins. Why? He hates tribal decks. And you know, that makes a lot of sense. Hate. Brainstorm from Kenny Caster. At this point, the mongoose is about to get loose, right? Like, at the, I mean, he can't block anything as long as Z Master is in play. Master. He can block the master itself. But, uh, looks like he's, looks like he's gonna get proactive. Plus, he's just respecting the fact that Cho could so easily drop another Lord yeah. Atlantis there are or seven other cards two. he could drop to make that Master of the Pearl Trident also unblockable. Volcanic Island fetched by Scalding Tarn. Both colors available now for Kenny. The Delver of the Secrets. Looks like um, Kenny is. Trying to mount some counterattack. There Second is another master. master, as anticipated. Wasteland hanging out. Take care of the red source. In comes a grand total of six. And a attack next turn for nine if it gets no help. Which is lethal. That's lethal. Delver, what do you say, Delver? That's a good card. Thought Scour. Yeah. Um, it's okay. No, I'm not saying it's good now. Ah, it's a good card though. Yeah. Yeah, he's gonna. I mean, he doesn't have a red mana or a removal spell, so I think he's just dead. He... 
and ponder. What you thinking? Ooh, he could cleverly wasteland himself during combat. Lay the wasteland. Do it. Yeah. So, Josh Cho now has to deal with the fact that Kenny Caster can waste his own tropical. Hmm. Stand still. Things have gone from bad to worse. <laughs> and here they come. Well. Kenny destroys his own land. Take that, lords. So he's going to double block, right? Like, one, or he's going to have each of the guys block a lord? Or does he just block one and start to uh, abyss them? Go down to two? It's got to be the plan, right? No, he's just dead on board that way. He has to block both masters. There we go. So what's the parlay here? He's going to take three, go to five. No, he just He's going to pack it up, pack it in. All right, so that means it's time for trivia. Okay. Josh Cho takes the first one. Kenny Castor looks sad, but you can look happy at home if you are the winner as well of the trivia contest. This is the big giveaway. This is the big one. For, for all the marbles. day past at Gen Con. Those now, four days in gaming. Please, if you cannot go to Gen Con, August 16th to 19th, if you cannot go to Gen Con, do not enter this contest. Do not take these tickets and burn them. No, let somebody who can go to Gen Con enter the contest. So, to win the contest, hashtag SCG Premium in your answer to Patrick Chapin's trivia question. Yep, and remember to tweet at SCG Live. Question is, who is better than all? If you know the answer, Tweet at SCG Live using hashtag SCGNY. No, no, not us. No, who is better than all? Is Bill Bolden here? Does he know? He, I can tell. I he's, couldn't tell he's you. He's not nearby to ask, so. Well, if he was here, I would ask him. He knows a lot of stuff. Yep. So, who is better than all? One lucky winner who, ha who tweets to hashtag SCG Premium with their correct answer. Could be randomly selected. You could be you. You could be going to Gen Con. Well, we're going to go back to our match in progress. Kenny Caster is going to be able to choose to play here if he chooses. Uh, I expect he will. Losing game one to Joshua Cho, who just overwhelmed him with Lords. Pyroblast? That sure felt like 42. Yeah, that was a lot of Lords. <laughs> I mean, if you run that many Lords, it pretty much does feel like you're, you know, 23, 42. It's all the same. A lot of Lords. Whew. This match, a little quicker paced than the uh, 37 land matchups that we're used to seeing. Uh, I, see an <laughs> I see an answer from BMK Ibler that says... No, no, no it's uh, not from Kibler. I know it's not from Kibler. No, honestly. it's in reference to him. Yeah, I, I know. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're, Actually, the, question, the question is not... Who is more handsome than all? The question is, <laughs> who is better than all? <laughs> I have to say, Kirk at Cat Tribal. I, I'm just going to share this because um, he, he says on principle, it's wild in the coddle. Okay, Josh Cho shuffling up. Kenny Castor shuffling up. <laughs> Who is going to win this game? Josh wants to end this with a quick 2-0. Kenny hoping to make this be a three-game match. Awesome answers abounding in this trivia question. So what, what's Kenny looking to see in his opening hand? What's the card, the number one card he wants most? Well, on the play, I think he's going to want to put down a Delver. Flip it and follow it up with removal on all of the lords. It's tough. He's only got two Pyroblasts in the board. That's, uh, I mean, he brings in one life from alone and two Pyroblasts. That's not a lot of, that's not a lot of defense. Meanwhile, Cho already had a fantastic game one. Gains four Submerge. If he wants some images, Umazawa's Jitte. If he wants Blue Almond Blast, and if he wants Kira Great Glass Spinner. You know, I actually have been a real fan of Kira in uh, these removal important matchups, but unfortunately, I have not played Merfolk with Kira versus Rug Delver since, uh, well, basically since before Delver was printed, so it was more Canadian Threshold then. And I don't know if Kira still stands up as useful anymore. I still remember the first time I saw Kira. 
in the early 90s in my friend's basement. Hmm. Akira? Right, right. That's a fun movie. So Josh Joe. Going to six? No, he's going to seven. He hasn't looked at him yet. He's just fanning him out. Do 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 If only we had an inside source to know what. Oh, are they laughing at Kenny <laughs> Castor having to take a mulligan? Oh man, I'm kind of laughing inside. Gen Con bot, which I have to imagine is a bot for Gen Con, has retweeted <laughs> our question here, our SCG premium question. So. Thank you, whoever set up Gen Con Bot for retweeting <laughs> our. I think our it's question. just auto searching for the word Gen Con. I think it is too. <laughs> but Gen Con Bot, I'm sorry, that is not the correct answer that we were looking for. <laughs> Your heart is in the right place. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Another question for everyone out there in the Twitterverse. What do you sideboard in if you are Josh Cho and you're playing this matchup? Presume you want to win. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, that's like, what do you sideboard in if you do? Josh Cho. Totally laid back. A veteran to the, to the top eights these days. I'm telling you, he has been absolutely on fire over the past 365. And Misty Rainforest from Kenny Castor to start us out. Aether Vial, perhaps? Curse mm. Catcher. Curse Catcher. Gotta catch them all. And uh, Bill Bolden retweeting from home, or from somewhere. We are actually really close, I think, to, to Bill's home turf. Buffalo? Yeah. That's correct. We're in it. Right, right. <laughs> well, I wasn't sure if he was a Buffalo guy or an Albany guy. He is a Buffalo guy. Represent for the buff. Okay, we get our Volcanic Island number one of three here for Kenny Castor. Kenny really pushing the envelope here. Only three of each of these lands that make mana. Ponder turn one, or turn, uh, yeah, turn one. So Josh Cho, still sitting on just an island and a curse catcher with a uh, strong matchup. He's up one game to zero versus his good buddy Kenny Castor, who has a volcanic island that he fetched up with Misty Rainforest. Volcanic island being tapped to Ponder. Ponder doesn't like what he sees and he shuffles. <laughs> At Cat Tribal with some more zoo references. <laughs> okay. A uh, master from Josh Cho gets dazed, and Josh Cho sacrifices the curse catcher to counter the daze. Hmm. The Z master. <laughs> Josh, ready to put that uh, master in the yard. Fork bolt to get rid of it. There is definitely more where that came from. Here is the Reasury. Oof, what is their land? No colored mana. Uh, one wasteland here could be I pretty bad. I think we're smelling a Johog. <laughs> Three region number two. Tap or untap? Untap, oh my god, all the damages. Jeez. Take seven. So, <laughs> Kenny's life total dropping from 19 to 12. <laughs> he is now facing Looming Doom. And another lord. And and that is it. I'm pretty sure. Ooh, and never mind. There is a pyroblast there. He's yeah, still got a shot. He's, he's in a real bad way. This is a real tight spot. He's been in tighter, but not by much. In for one, not going to block. Why bother uh, hanging back? Take the one. Any more lords? Any more plague rats? All oh, the rats. This member. Well, the good news is this doesn't. Oh. Stand still. Well, it's a lot less good of news. Dun, dun, Kenny just dun. Dun. And Josh Cho is your champion of SCG NY. 
Congratulations to Josh Cho. Awesome times. I had not seen Josh Cho in a long time and ran into him in Nashville. Just nice as can possibly be coming off of his Pro Tour Top 8. And uh, here he is continuing with victories. Josh yeah. Cho. I'm a Cho fan. The entire Top 8 though. Nice diverse selection. Decks. Yeah. A lot of strong players. Yeah, we yeah. had uh, seven archetypes in the top eight. Yep. That's pretty great, I, I think. think. For both formats, too, or maybe six in standard. Yeah. Very diverse mix this weekend. All right, we have ourselves a winner Ryan Butler at XXGreed71XX. Right. Narrowly edging out Gen Con Badge Bot. Or Gen Con, <laughs> Gen Con Bot. Bots. Yes. Ryan Butler <laughs> at XXGreed71XX. Make sure you're following SCG Live so that we can find you and ship you that paper. <laughs> now, remember. Gen Con is the awesomest, so uh, if you come, bring some friends. Yeah, seriously, Ryan. Good times. Good times. We'll if have you come, you have to you come. You have to come. You are contractually true. obligated. It's true. 